Hi guys, welcome back to Joy's Reading Time. And today my point of view is on Amir Khan and Kale Brooks with the fight the 19th of February, Saturday 19th of February. Great fight. You know, um, when I thought about this fight, I really, I saw the anger with Kel Brooks. He's just so angry with Amir Khan for nothing. But I put that down just to jealousy. Total jealousy of over his accolades, over his, you know, all his achievements. And he just grudged him and bad mind him to me with all his toxic thoughts just on his jealousy over this man. Now, when you look at both of them as fighter, I mean, Amir Khan is a great fighter, very great fighter. You know, he never runs away from any opponent. He will take it on, he will fight. But we know he has a weak chin. You know, that is his downfall. But what helps him is that he's a fast fighter, an accurate fighter. And that helps him a lot. And I like him because he's a very humble man. The thing what Kel Brooks need to understand that Kel, that Amir Khan has personality. Yeah? He has likability. He has humbleness. People like him. Where Kel Brooks, he just jealous over him, grudgeful over him, you know, everything. He just never liked him because he always felt that, you know, he was better than him. You know, I'm better, I'm better. But that's, that's not the point. Someone's achievement is someone's achievement. Now, Kel Brooks, I'm not saying he's a bad fighter. He's got a harder chin. And also, he's not as fast as Amir Khan. But he's very... um. I suppose strategic in a way because what he does you know he he's got a very strong punch and he waits until he can slip in on that opponent and once he connects them he does connect them really hard and he is a good fighter his downfall for me is his personality yeah is you just can't be grudging and hating someone for their achievement and always thinking i'm better you know, everyone has a path in boxing. Amir Khan went through the Olympic routes. You went through your route. You know, he won his silver um, medal, you know, because of his achievement, his training. You know, he has to do a diet like you. He has to train hard, just like Kell Brooks. But Kell Brooks still just grudge him for all his accolades, all his achievement, all his merit, all his, his personality. And that what comes off across in my in my point of view, as making you look ugly. It does, it makes you look really ugly. I mean, when you looked at the interview, with gloves are off. I mean, Kel Brooks didn't even want to shake Amir Khan hand. Amir Khan was just cool. And you know, the thing is, it doesn't matter to me that he lost the fight, because to me, he's won already. You've re he's reached 35. He has a family, he's married his child to a sweetheart. He has a gorgeous family. He now has does um reality TV. Now, this is the thing. When you start seeing them branching off into doing reality TV, you know, um, to me, some passion has been lost. To me, it's like I've achieved all I wanted to achieve in that world. I was young. I was hungry. This is what I really wanted. But I've achieved it now. And so now I've moved on to be more family orientated, you know, doing his reality TV, doing other things that, you know, um, I suppose he likes. He's been very gifted. He's a very blessed man. But yes, do you have this Kell Brooks? He's just grudged him and bad mind him over all the years, always wanting to prove that he's better. I can't understand, you know, and to me that comes across so bad. And it, the anger in his face, you know, he was not going to lose this fight. If what if it was the last breath in him, he was not going to lose this fight. He's like, I'm going all the way. He would do anything. Now he actually got him in the ring. He's like, I am not losing this. I need to prove to the world that I'm the better fighter. He's like the child in the playground. I'm the better fighter and I need to prove it. He's not so good. You know, and that's what it is. And he's won it, but he's won it at, when a man is like, I don't care. I've already, I don't really have the passion for this anymore. I don't mind the money, but I don't really have the passion. I've, 
I've achieved all I wanted to achieve. I've achieved my goals. You know, I've reached there. And so he's, he's won this man when this man doesn't even care, <laughs> you know. So that, to me, the funniness about it. But he, he doesn't care. As far as he's concerned, I've won. And I always wanted to win. And I always wanted to prove I was the best fighter. But you haven't really proved nothing because you fought him now. You've got to fight him at um, an older stage in his life when he doesn't have the passion anymore. Not when, like it was five years ago, which if you did get to fight in five years ago, personally, Kelbrook, I think it would have knocked you out. But, you know, this is a time now you fought him. Because Kelbrook's, as much as, as I say, you've got a hard chin and you're accurate with your punching and you're strategic with your waiting for the right time. By the time you're waiting for the right time with Amir Khan, he would have thrown so much punches one all at once at you. You would have been knocked out. All your waiting would have been for nothing. You would have been flat out on the ground. But now you fought him later when everyone's older and you think, yeah, I proved the point. But you haven't proved nothing, nothing at all, you know. So I say great for America and you had a great fight. Yeah, be with your family because you've done all your achievements, right, and you've got nothing to prove. Well, Kel Brooks, I mean, you, you are a lot older in this field now and, you know, a young person can come up and just knock you out. So, you know, but good luck to you in your bad mind, jealous ways. But Kel Brooks, you know, that's all I can say to you. But Amir Khan, yeah, you're still my favourite, you know, and you've done really well and good for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and share, okay?